All right. Um, <clears throat> we are here. I had to come to a remote place so we could get uh, some privacy when we do this shot. It may not be a big day because you're using a smartphone, but um, at the same time, you want to be careful not to draw attention, especially when I'm going to be talking to the camera and acting like some big deal is going on with a, with a um, backpack behind me. Um, yeah, you might want to do it in a private place, but you get the picture. I'm going to demonstrate right here. It's a park, the nearest park to my place. And um, yeah, I'm testing this microphone from Movo. It's a wire mic. I'm using the iPhone 11 right now. It's a lovely morning anyway. If you like to watch movies or you like to learn how to make movies, then I guess this channel is for you. Don't forget to subscribe while we do this, okay? Welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin, if you're meeting me for the first time. And today we are going to do a demonstration uh, of how to get your panoramic shot. For those of you that are into film or planning to get into film, this is pretty much what you want to get a hang of. Location scouting is, uh, is a big deal in the industry now. It could be your full-time job. And part of what you need to do as a location scout is get this panorama shot. So you want to be on point when you do this. And the best way to go about it is on your smartphone. Almost every smartphone out there has it. You might know the panorama option, but um, never really get to understand what's the use for. Uh, this is one of the uses uh, in film. We want to get a wide view. It's like a widespread view of your environment where you'll be shooting. And when you scout and you find a location, um, you are supposed to, technically, you are supposed to report to your art director and um, your art director can take these pictures that you bring in and decide if that would be a perfect fit for the location. And when you do find this location, you're going to take certain pictures. One of them is the panorama, another is the reverse um, still, the reverse angle, okay? And I'll explain to you that as a bonus uh before we leave if you need if you want us to go over more details about location scouting just go ahead and leave the comment in the description and i'll be more than happy to break it down for you most cameras you will need to go in post and twitch and stitch the picture to get that long view that we are looking for but why go through all that trouble when the phone can do it efficiently here we go, this is the demonstration. Now you're gonna keep your, your phone vertical, not horizontal, not like this, or rather, well, this is vertical, that's how you wanna keep your phone. Okay, let me assume this is the phone. This is the landscape version, and this is the, the vertical, as you would normally hold your phone, right? So I'm gonna show, um, show you what you do. You will, um, when you go to the settings, your camera settings, you will see the panel option, and then you, you you want to get like a 180 degree, well, mostly between 150 and 180 degree. If this is your location, like in front of me now, if the building in front of me or the estate or the piece of land in front of me is the location we are going to be shooting at, all I have to do is hold my camera from an angle of about 180 to 120. I want to get 180 degree, like something like this onward. I'm going to take it in a circle. But you push the you push the panel button on your camera and then you come steady and just continuous turning non-stop continuous turning continuous turning continuous turning and then get to your point and hit the stop button that's push the panel button again and you have your your you're ready look at the picture you're gonna see the line the strip the image strip which will pretty much show your location and the look and the closest houses around it just for planning purpose uh it will help the art director see what they need to look out for Now 
to get the reverse shot. Um, apologies if this audio is not so cool because I forgot about it and I'm just taking it from the camera external right now. To get the uh, reverse shot in the same position where you were standing, I shouldn't have left. Right there, right after you cut off from the panel shot, turn around, reverse angle, that's what it's called. The exact opposite of where you shot, get a still. That would just be a snap, a photograph, a still picture. And that is your reverse shot. It all helps them know what is across the building. Now, one thing you want to know, do is make sure there are no moving cars when you take this shot in front of you. There are no walking people, no distance, no moving animal because when, when that happens, when you take your shot, they're going to be blurred in this shot. It's gonna, you're going to see movement of the car, um, animal or human in front of your um, panel. So you don't want to do that. Click the like button if you learned something today and uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.